on a lonely New York road, a weary Irish exile was returning to his home. He gave his all each working day. He was one of New York's best. His days were being over. He longed for evening's rest as he felt the need for company. To the tavern he strolled in and exchanged some heartfelt greetings with a couple of his friends. The tavern rang with music from the barman's ring. Of the fiddle and the melodeon, for it was an Irish show. As he listened to familiar tunes, with pride he hummed along. Then he heard the lakes of Sligo, and he broke into that song. But his spirit soon turned downwards when the compare of the show read a letter from a mother in the green hills of Sligo, and the letter read, "Dear Mr. DJ, could you do a turn for me? I'm looking for my long lost son who's far across the sea." I know he went to New York town, but that's the last we heard. For he never wrote a letter, and we never heard another word. The day he left these Sligo shores, he had angry words with his dad. They fought about the land, you know, though it was little that we had. But his father wouldn't pass it on, though he didn't mean no harm. So Johnny left and headed off for New York town. And ever since we think of him from sunrise to sundown. So if by chance he's listening to your famous Irish show, would you tell him we'd love to have him back down the green hills of Sligo? Well, the tears ran down the barman's cheeks, and the cold is hard blew warm. Then Johnny bid his friends adieu and headed off for home. But he left them none the wiser, for pride was lord of all. Now he's haunted in some other town by a lonesome mother's call. So if you and I. Exile, and you're far away from home. Don't forget your mother, and you'll never walk alone. Remember well forever. Pride comes before a fall, and you never. No, you never will be haunted by a lonesome mother's call.